Grand Rising Kings and Queens, E. Ray Taronic here, Master Weaver of Mystery Suspense Thrillers, as well as Broadcaster of Astrology. First, I'd like to thank you for being here with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know it is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you that will help you to navigate the week's upcoming challenges, take advantage of its blessings, look forward to its, um, or actually look forward to its blessings, take advantage of its opportunities, and even uh, look out for its challenges, okay? So we can be ready. Um, if anything I say is mumbled or gargled, I apologize. I just had my wisdom teeth taken out, so I'm struggling through it. Um, <laughs> if you should look for this video or should you need to find this video later, of course you can always find it at my website, eraybooks.com. The link to the newsletter is always there. In addition to that, you can go to my YouTube channel, Enchantress, Press astrology. Please subscribe to the channel, guys. It's very important so that you can see these weekly videos whenever you need to. Now, the dates and degrees are noted in the newsletter, so use those to your advantage. If you know you have placements within three degrees of the degree that I mentioned, you know that these energies will hit you heavier than they will hit someone else. Okay, now um, knowing your chart is essential, guys. So if you don't have your chart, I am available to do that. I also do readings. My prices are in the newsletter, so hit me up. While you're there checking out the newsletter, I implore you to check out our monthly, um, our star player of the month, who happens to be author, screenwriter, literary influencer, and podcaster on the Intentional Life Morning Show, LaJill Hunt. LaJill's latest novel, Large and in Charge, is available for purchase. Please do not forget to read and review. As you know, it is the bookish thing to do. If you're looking for a sneak peek into Large and in Charge or even the synopsis, you can always check my page. It's always there. For those of you privileged enough to be on Clubhouse and aim to live an intentional life, and are about all about setting those intentions, you can join LaJill and the rest of the Intentional Life crew from 8.30 to 11 a.m. Monday through Friday on Clubhouse. Now, on Tuesday, the 13th, at 7 p.m., Diane Rembert will be chopping it up with Entice, the creator. She will be talking about deal-making in the industry, how she does it, and what you can expect when dealing with a literary agent. Um, Actually, she's my literary agent, so I will definitely be there. Please join us, the more the merrier. Feel free to stop by and soak up this industry knowledge on Tuesday, April 13th at 7 p.m. Now, without any further ado, let's get into it. Currently, the sun is at 21 degrees Aries, and it's stationed with Mercury and Mercury, Venus, Chiron, and Ceres. So new opportunities are communicated to us that allow us to heal love, emotions, and finances. And with Ceres here, we can create win-win situations for both parties. Just make sure you can handle what it is you're asking for. Can you maintain the goal once you achieve it is what you need to be asking yourself. The sun is at this, the sun at this degree talks about falling behind, being lazy, and not maintaining the energy needed to sustain one's goals or ambitions. For some, this two-week energy moon cycle is a perfect case of be careful what you wish for. Don't purchase expensive items if you can't keep up with the note. Don't apply for the job if you can't handle the work hours. When accepting new opportunities, know what it is that's required of you before signing on the dotted line. Okay, now we're not only going to go over this, we're also going to go over the new moon, the two week energy cycle that we're going through, as well as other major transits that are happening for this next week. So without further ado, let's get into it. Um, this is my second video. So Libra will be the first sign that I'm going through for this video. All right. So Libra, Sun, Moon, are rising. Let's make sure we get your timestamp down here for you guys. 431. Libra, Sun, Moon, are rising. April 11th, Pluto is at 26 degrees Capricorn. It's going to be Sesca Quadrate, the true node in Gemini at 11 degrees. This is about you transforming in career or whatever it is you master. Communication regarding your goals can come in today. To get the goodness out of this transit, it will require you to think quickly and cleverly. 
Just don't do anything underhanded, okay? Or you're likely to get caught. Um, do not let others' actions get you into trouble or taint your reputation. For you, Libra, this involves your areas of home and family, as well as long distance travel, skills, how you think, what you preach. Um, if you have a home-based business, this also could apply here too, okay? So that's what you wanna watch out for and those are the areas you wanna watch out for it happening in. Now on April the 11th also, the new moon is ushered in at 22 degrees Aries. New opportunities that come your way need to be thoroughly assessed by you, not by your friends, okay? People have agendas, even some so-called friends. So you need to make sure that your assets are protected. Read all contracts and utilize legal shield if need be. If you, uh, they can review your contracts for you, but if, if it's something that doesn't require a contract, just make sure that you're discerning as to the opportunity that you're taking on. First, let's look at what relationships um, have the opportunities to be healed, okay? Um, simply because Aries is the area of relationships for you. It looks like for you, it will be your sectors of romance, creativity, and children, as well as long distance travel, education, skills, the way you think, and the things you preach. Creative relationships, those at a distance from you, someone you may have had a disagreement with over you, what you said, your philosophy, what you think, a romantic partner, or even a relationship with a child can be healed with the sun in Aries right now. And during that two-week moon cycle, you have the opportunity during this two-week moon cycle. Now, as far as your favorable opportunities or assistance from healing attained in relationships, it will surface in the areas of communication, siblings, short distance travel, your networks of people, as well as among friends. This pushes you toward achieving a goal. Communicate with those in your networks of people, okay? The opportunity to take a short trip could really benefit you, even mentally, okay? If you've been at, had it out with a sibling as well, you have the opportunity to heal things with them, if, if you want to. As far as the friction blocking chances to heal or requiring more effort to heal, it will be in your areas of career as well as home and family as it pertains to your relationships. This could point to a home-based business. Um, you're going to have to open up a bit here, uh, Libra. Speak up and be available for the ones you love. If it's help or opportunities you want in career, you need to let it be known if you want those opportunities, okay? They're all not just gonna fall in your lap. Now on the 12th, Juno goes retrograde at 24 degrees in Sagittarius. This transit is all about marriage and commitment. So you don't wanna fall prey to temptations. Remember that the South Node is here, so lower vibrational tendencies or old habits can get the best of you. This is an area, uh, your area of communication siblings, your networks of people, and short distance travel. So remember we said we already have those healing, that healing going on and aspecting even with a sibling, that opportunity. So maybe on the 12th, this is when you go back. Okay, I'm gonna go back and talk to this sibling or this neighbor or this person that I had it out with. Okay, be careful, you know, be mindful, be discerning as to the language that you use, okay? Word may come through the grapevine, that upsets you, okay? But just don't mind the gossip, okay? If you want people to be true to you, you need to show them the same courtesy, Libra. Some people just can't let go of the past, though. Remember that all help as well is not good help during this season. Stop telling people all your business, okay? This could likely be your coworkers. Also, an old health ailment may pop up and start bothering you now during this two-week moon cycle. Now, on April the 14th, Venus, the planet of finances, romance, and pleasure, enters Taurus at zero degree. It, uh, that's your sector of sheer finances, endings, new beginnings, things you're passionate about, okay? But if you choose to take up arms, fight, or argue, especially about finances, expect to get it back in spades, okay? You want to keep the lover, lover's quarrels to a minimum. 
like I said, this is about passion, romance, shared finances, endings, new beginnings, and pleasure. Remember that Uranus is here, so it may catch you by surprise. So let's go over the friction and blockages first. Um, friends and high hopes, as well as romance, creativity, and children are aspected here. You may have to shell out some money for a lover or a child unexpectedly. You may not get paid back or receive the assistance from a friend you were expecting, and therefore it stagnates a goal that you were trying to accomplish. You may also find that you have overextended yourself and therefore drained your shared finances more than you'd like. This could put a damper on romance in a relationship. Now, as far as the favorable romance, money, pleasure pursuits coming to your areas of shared finances, endings, new beginnings, and things you're passionate about, you can look to secret sacrifice, solitude, closure, as well as home and family. So hush-hush projects could benefit you. A secret could come your way that's fruitful. The sacrifices you've made could pan out for you and allow some time, uh, allows you some time to delve into some pleasure pursuits. Just try not to spend too much money. Um, this grows your money and also surprises you at the same time. Secrets can work out to your benefit during tourist season. As far as the opportunities and assistance communicated you uh, to you when Taurus, Venus is in Taurus. As far as shared finances, your passions, endings, new beginnings, and things you're passionate about. Um, let me start over. This tooth is... Opportunities and assistance with shared finances or your passions, endings, and new beginnings will show up in your sectors of work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to others. So while Venus is in Taurus, your opportunities and assistance will come through work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to others. Take time to work on something that you're passionate about. It could involve you being of service to others, which will grow your money, your shared finances. Um, you may also have to adjust your schedule though, okay? You might have to end some things that you thought you were passionate about and find that there's something that you love even more that that you know comes about okay all right now let's move along to scorpio sun moon arising so it's 12 34 scorpio sun moon arising on april the 11th pluto is at 26 degrees Capricorn. It's Sesca Quadrate, the true note in Gemini at 11 degrees. This is about you transforming in career or whatever it is you master. Communication regarding your goals could come in. Um, to get the goodness out of this transit, it will require you to think quickly and cleverly though. Okay, so just don't do anything underhanded or, or for money or to advance in money or you'll likely get caught, okay? Don't let others' actions get you into trouble or taint your reputation either. This involves um, your sectors of shared finances, endings, new beginnings, what you're passionate about, okay? Communication, siblings, short distance travel, your networks of people. All right. So um, it could require, it could be someone within the distance, someone, um, in your networks of people it could be somewhere where you're having to travel a short distance it's communicated that you might have to, to jump and go somewhere just make sure if it's an opportunity for you to make money you're not doing anything shady okay all right now on april the 11th the new moon in aries is at 22 degrees that's today it's going to go into 22 degrees the new moon um the new opportunities that come your way need to be thoroughly assessed by you not by your friends Okay, people have agendas, even some of your so-called friends. You need to make sure that your assets are protected. So read all contracts and utilize Legal Shield if need be. They can review your contracts for you. If you don't need, um, if you don't have a contract or anything, just make sure you're discerning about the opportunities that you're taking advantage of because you want to make sure that you can handle them. Okay, for the long term. Now, choose wisely while leaving time for self-care as well as time to spend with family. That's important for you this year, Scorpio, okay? You're gonna be working a lot this year, but you also need to have time to fit in home and family, which is very important because soon um, 
Jupiter is going to leave your area of home and family and it's going to leave Saturn there. So that means you're going to be working hard on home and family. Okay, working hard to cement your foundation and you won't have luck there anymore. Okay, so you need to watch out for that. It'll, it'll go back in there later on after about, I think, three months or something like that. It's going to be in Pisces. Then it'll go back to Aquarius. But for, the, for, for three months, it's not going to be there. So you need to put that work and cultivate those relationships within home and family okay that's a big focus for you this year your presence is uh re going to be requested by many scorpio now this is your area of work health and daily routines aries is okay as um can you guys get out that security camera please i'm doing horoscopes i'm sorry scorpio this is your area of work, health, daily routines, as well as where you are of service to others. The healing that is illuminated here is aspecting several areas in your chart. As far as opportunities for work, assistance for healing, you can find that in the areas of home and family, as well as shared finances, your passions, endings, and new beginnings. If you have a home-based business, you can make money building your finances with a partner. This is um, a time where you can also improve your living status and your stature in the world, Scorpio. Okay, You'll also be granted opportunities to work on something that fuels your passion. So be open to this healing. Okay, It will change your image. Uh, some, some might be uh, going back to old jobs too, picking up picking up old jobs you know do that if need be especially for finances but for you you must learn to step outside of the box okay let your walls down a bit Scorpio opportunities to adjust your habits and to usher in uh, a healthier you arises okay and it really does I'm a Scorpio I just got two wisdom teeth taken out I got two more to go but I'm, I'm doing it you know I'm doing what I got to do Anyway, of course, during this two-week moon cycle, new moon cycle, there will be the naysayers or those opposing this healing of your image and your good fortune. Some may be envious of the opportunities and the assistance afforded you. Scorpio, you have a lot of jealousy around you. Leo also has a lot of jealousy around them right now. Okay, so you guys need to watch out for that. Okay, you don't want to feed into that or give anybody anything else to say. Um, about you okay opportunities will be afforded you that will uh, ramp up this envious um, behavior these people are in the areas of communication siblings short distance travel those within your networks of people long distance travel that means people from afar uh, your education and skills the way you think and the things you preach people uh, opposing that as well okay um have you bought a car or planned a vacation showing it off might earn you some haters okay so maintain your humility you trying the area of long distance travel education and skills the way you think and the things you preach so you should be able to dodge the melee that goes on in that sector it could also pertain to work though co-workers those in your area of communication, siblings, short distance travel, and your networks of people, I would advise not to give them the time of day. <laughs> oh my God, I put that in there. Okay, I didn't mean it like that, like not to give them the time of day, like period. I meant if they're giving you a hard time, don't pay attention to them. Don't give them the time of day. Don't give them your energy, okay? That's, what I, that's how I meant to say it. Don't let slight, snide remarks bother you. Okay, mind your words, especially during travel as well. Okay, you don't have to um, have trouble out on the road. Okay, so be mindful of that. Just keep it moving. Okay, you're going places, Scorpio. It's best that you keep your eyes on the prize. Now, on the 12th, Juno goes retrograde at 24 degrees Sagittarius. This transit is all about marriage and commitment. Don't fall prey to temptations. Remember that the South Node is here. So lower vibrational tendencies or old habits can get the best of you. This is about creativity and children, and it could really drain your pockets, okay? Mind your obligations first and foremost. If they are uh, past promises or bills, 
You might just have to pay them, okay? Try to put some money to the side for a stormy season though, okay? We've been talking about that for a while, um, Scorpio, and that's important. Because like I said, Jupiter is going to come out of your sector of home and family. You're going to be working hard, whether you're trying to move, whether you're trying to save money so that you can do better, you know, for your home and family. You, you want to be ready for those things. So make sure you put up some savings. On April the 14th, Venus, the planet of romance, finances, and abundance, enters Taurus at zero degree. If you choose to fight or take up arms or argue, expect to get it back in spades, especially with quarreling with a lover over finances. You want to be mindful of that. In general, this is a wonderful transit for you because it's your sector of relationships and it's bringing, no. Let me make sure. Yeah. It's your sector of relationships. So it's bringing love and, and, and just general goodness to your sector of relationships, okay? Um, now, you can see sudden blessings in finances, pleasure or romance, as far as your relationships or your sectors of friends and goals, as well as communication, siblings, your networks of people, even short distance travel. All those avenues could be bringing that goodness in. The latter is going through a favorable transformation right now. Communication, siblings, your networks of people, and uh, short distance travel. That's going through a transformation. Okay? Um, your friends are supporting you with Venus here. There's also time where you can forge uh, a surprising but very favorable relationship when Venus is in Taurus. So look out for that. Now, let's look at where surprising, surprisingly favorable opportunities to forge relationships or to be assisted by current relationships are coming in. Romance, creativity, and children, as well as long distance travel, education, skills, the way you think, and the things you preach is aspected for your opportunities and assistance. You're pulling in people at a distance from you who want to forge relationships because of your philosophy, okay? That sector trying your sign, so it's even more beneficial for you. Opportunities to work on new creative endeavors or even assistance with current projects is noted when Venus is in Taurus. Surprising romantic offers can feature for you as well. You could be assisting a child or they could be assisting you this go round. If uh, if this is a sun, uh, a Pisces, if your child is a sun, moon, or rising Pisces, a win-win situation can be had for both of you with the presence of Pallas in uh, Pisces, okay? Now, friction that can catch you off guard, probably because you're having too much fun, can surface in the sectors of career as well as home and family. This could pertain to a home-based business as well. Make sure you stay on task. Work does uh, disappear. Work doesn't. I put work does disappear just because favor has shown up for you. I meant work doesn't disappear just because favor has shown up for you. And I put does in the newsletter. So I hope you're watching this. <laughs> work does not disappear because favor has been shown up for you. If you allow your work to fall to the wayside, you will regret it later. The abundance um, should be balanced with work. The abundance had, you should balance it out with work. Now, let's move along to Sagittarius since I've talked Scorpio's ear off long enough. 23:51. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Arising. On April the 11th, Pluto is at 26 degrees Capricorn and it's sesquiquadrate the true note in Gemini at 11 degrees. This is about you transforming in career or whatever it is you master. Communication regarding your goals can come in. To get the goodness out of this transit, it will require you to think quickly and cleverly. Okay, think on your feet. Just don't do anything underhanded or it's likely that you will get caught. Do not let others' actions get you into trouble or taint your reputation. Okay, here we are discussing relationships as well as personal finances and resources. Okay, so relationships and personal finances and resources, some uh, is Sesca Quadri, so some uh, transformation of some goal can be had, it, it, um, and, it, and it's 
directly within personal finances and relationships, okay? Now, also on the 11th today, the new moon is ushered in at 22 degrees Aries. New opportunities that come your way need to be thoroughly assessed by you, not by your friends, okay? People have agendas, even some so-called friends. You need to make sure your assets are protected. Read all contracts and, and utilize legal shield if need be. They can review your contracts for you. If the opportunity doesn't require a contract, just be discerning as to the opportunities you're taking on. You want to make sure you can handle them in the long run, okay? Um, the focus for you is on romance, your creative pursuits, as well as your children. You trying this area, so favor, the favor coming into you from what you think and what you preach, as well as your education and skills, will bring wealth, a wealth of opportunities and assistance to you during this moon cycle, okay? Um, and you could be offering that to others as well. You are attracting people at a distance from you with your words, Sagittarius. This, or, or, it's bringing you opportunities and assistance from those within your networks of people or maybe even a neighbor. It could be a sibling as well. A sibling or someone you see as a sibling could be helping out even if it's just with your children. Maybe then you can have some romantic time. Ask and you shall receive during this two week moon cycle. You could also be invited to an event or get a get together from those on the web or within your networks of people. The only friction you have to worry about during this two-week moon cycle is coming from finances. Okay, Saggy? You may not have the money you want to do. You know, you may have not have the money to do all you want to do at this time. You also could be spending too much money on children, romance, or creative pursuits, which takes away from the funding that you need to do what it is you're really passionate about and what needs to be ended so that you can have the new beginnings and finances that you're looking for. Now, on the 12th, Juno is retrograde in Sagittarius. This transit is all about marriage and commitment. Don't fall prey to temptations. It's about you going back, period. Okay? Remember the South Node is here, so lower vibrational tendencies can get the best of you. This is your sign, Sagittarius, which means your commitments, especially to home and family, as well as career, are coming into focus. These are areas that will require more of your effort. Okay, if you have a home-based business, this could apply here. You're really digging in your heels now, starting on the 12th, okay? Now on the 14th, Venus is gonna come in and it's gonna be ushered into your area of work, health, daily routines and where you are of service to others. So romance, finances, pleasure, is going to be at Taurus at zero degree on the 14th. It's gonna be there for some time, okay? If you choose to fight or take up arms on this day, though, especially on the 14th, you can expect to get it back in spades. No lovers, quarrels, or fighting over finances. This is about um, surprising abundance in work, in health, in daily routines, and where you are of service to others. Extra finances, abundance, or even romance can be found in these areas, and it could be attributed to personal finances and career. The money you garner in career could really usher in the goodness for you. If you're working on, uh, if you're working for the benefit of others, those areas can see favor now. If you have to travel or work unexpectedly, make sure you have travel plans in order, um, and um, make sure you have your vehicles in order as well. Okay, uh, with that travel try not to be speeding or anything or any anything like that you don't want to get any tickets or anything and remember while you have favorite aspecting in the area of work everyone may not agree with you okay jealousy is to be expected okay so brush your shoulders off saggy it happens <laughs> people may attempt to ruin the favor that you're having by attacking you on uh how you think and what you preach but you try in that area so your philosophy and your education and your skills you've got this you can smooth over the melee because that's an area that you try in anyway now unexpected assistance or opportunities are aspected to bring you pleasure or finances through the areas of home and family, as well as shared finances, endings, and new beginnings, okay? This can apply to a home-based business as well. So don't reject these opportunities because this is great for you, Sagittarius. 
especially if uh, it's coming into place um, where you've previously, ex previously, I'm sorry, this wisdom too, where you've previously experienced friction in home and family or a home-based business, okay? That assistance will come in and it will help you out there. Okay, now, Sagittarius, we are done with you. Now we're gonna move along to Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. So Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, 30, 16. On April 11th, today, Pluto is at 26 degrees Capricorn and Sesca Quadrate, the true node in Gemini at 11 degrees. This is about you transforming your career or whatever it is you master. Communication regarding your goals can come in. Um, this is about transforming, okay, to get the goodness out of this transit, I'm sorry. It will require you to think quickly and cleverly on your, think quickly on your feet basically, okay? You just don't want to do anything underhanded or you'll get caught, okay? Don't let others' actions get you into trouble or taint your reputation. Your areas of self image, first impressions, as well as work, health, and daily routines, as well as where you are of service to others is aspected here, okay? So, um, as far as your image you want to watch out for, as far as someone at work tainting your image you want to watch out for, you don't want to let others uh, muck up how you're seen, okay? That's important. Um, on April 11th, also today, the new moon is ushered in in Aries at 22 degrees. This is about new opportunities that will come your way. They need to be assessed by you. This is important, not your friends, okay? People have agendas, even some so-called friends. You need to make sure that your assets are protected. Read all contracts and utilize legal shields if need be. Okay, they can review your contracts for you. If you don't need your contract reviewed or, or if it doesn't, uh, uh, there's not a, a, a contract that's aspected here, you just want to be discerning as to the opportunities you take on because you want to make sure that you can uphold these deals and these opportunities later on. Okay, this is about.